everyone. Welcome to our class today. I'm Taylor Lee, and thank you to New Hope Network for hosting this class for us so we could join together. Albert Einstein once said, in the middle of difficulty is opportunity. And how poignant is that for the times right now, right? This has been a very difficult time for a lot of people. I know for myself, it was a big shift from being in person with people, connecting through yoga and body work, and to have that completely shut down was huge. However, it gave me the opportunity to learn how to connect in a different way and to teach in a different way, just like we're gonna do today, where I'm in my home studio, and now I get to share my practice with you in a way I never thought was possible. And again, thank you to New Hope Network for making this a possibility so I can connect with all of you. And that's one of the beauties, that's one of the opportunities we've been able to have is to connect with each other in new ways. Uh, maybe we've had more time to spend with our kids or maybe had a little more time to talk on the phone with our mom or just more time to sleep in and catch up and let our bodies rest. So today I'd like to take this opportunity for us to connect with each other from a distance, to practice together, and to also connect with our bodies. As we move today, wherever your level of practice is, if the moves feel challenging, I invite you to meet the poses as an opportunity to build resistance within yourself, <laughs> resilience within yourself. And if the, if the poses feel easier than what you're used to, then I invite you to see the opportunity to maybe soften your expectations of what, around what it should feel like or look like and allow it to be a chance to maybe decrease some stress that's been building up. And with that, let's practice. Wherever you are, join me on your mat. Have a seat, easy seat. Hands resting on your thighs. And just take a moment to notice where your body is at today. Notice any areas maybe holding tension. <clears throat> notice where your mind is. What's been going on for you the last few months? And where are you at today? Now I invite you to bring your left hand to your heart, right hand on top. Soften around your eyes. And if it feels safe for you to close them, I invite you to do so now. Begin to notice where your body makes contact with the earth. Feel your sit bones, the outer edges of your feet, your thighs. And allow those points of contact to soften and root down into the earth. And as you inhale, allow your inhale to lengthen your spine, lengthening through the crown of your head, reaching up towards the sky. And take a full breath in here, fill your belly, fill your lungs. And as you exhale, allow your shoulders to soften back and down. Take another deep breath, fill your belly. Fill the space underneath your hands. And then like you're blowing out a candle, gently blow out through your mouth. Again, check in, where have you been? What is bringing you here now? That is allowing us to have this opportunity to connect with each other and to our bodies. Deep breath in and exhale. Soften into the present moment as we practice. Open your eyes, inhale, arms sweep out and up. And exhale, bring your hands together and draw them down through heart center. Inhale, out and up. And exhale. One more time. Inhale, out and up. And exhale. 
and inhale, arms sweep. And then exhale, gently twist to your right. Your right hand comes back to the earth behind you, left hand to your right knee. Inhale, soften out of the twist slightly. And then as you exhale, root down through your sit bones and lift through the crown of your head to twist. With each inhale, slightly soften. And each exhale, notice if you can twist a little bit deeper. And then let's begin to make little counterclockwise spirals around our heart, just with our rib cage. It's a very small movement, beginning to awaken the energy within our spine. And then come to stillness. Maybe look over your right shoulder. Notice something behind you that maybe you didn't see before. And inhale, rise up, hands through center, come back. And then exhale, twist to your left, left hand behind you, right hand to left knee. Inhale, soften. Exhale, deepen into the twist, root down through your sit bones, legs and through the crown of your head. And stay here for a few breaths. And then begin again to make little spirals clockwise this time, just around your rib cage. Allow it to massage the muscles that are at the back of your heart. And come to stillness, maybe sink into your twist a little bit more. Option to turn your head back to the left. Again, observe the space you're in from a different angle. Inhale, sweep back up through center. Hands come to heart center. Let's bring our hands to the earth. We'll meet in all fours. Hands in line underneath your shoulders. Knees in line underneath your hips. Find a neutral spine here, so your sit bones are reaching back to the space behind you, crown of your head, out in front. And find some gentle movement here first, whatever your body needs, maybe sway side to side, some barrel rolls through your spine, and switch directions, whatever movement you're choosing, and then come back. And as we move today, I want you to know you do have a choice to level up, to level down. Again, are we here to soften? Are we here to build a resistance, resilience? Whatever you need. Inhale, belly drops. Reach the crown of your head and sit bones. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops. Exhale, curl in, and lift the back of your heart up towards the sky. Inhale, belly drops, lift through the crown of your head and sit bones. Exhale, press the earth away. Again, inhale, little back bend. Exhale, press your hands into the earth like you can press it away, lift the back of your heart, a little more intentional movement here. And inhale, deep in your back bend, and allow your heart to shine forward. And then come back to a neutral spine. Step your right foot back behind you so your toes are on the earth. Draw your belly button in towards your spine, and then slowly lift your right heel back behind you. Nice long line through your right heel, out through the crown of your head. Then let's find just little pulses, beginning to wake up in those muscles in our hip, on the back side. <clears throat> and then bend your right knee, like you could plant your foot on the ceiling or sky above you. Keep your belly engaged. And then let's find little pulses, lift your heel up and down, returning your thigh to neutral. We're not drawing it in, just keeping it neutral from our hip. And then lifting back and up behind us. And then from here, keep your knee bent. And then rotate your knee out to the side. A little fire hydrant action, just like a dog would do. 
Okay. Stay here. Pause. Keep your belly engaged. And then little pulses out to the side. You might start to feel those little muscles in the back side of your hips starting to fire. This is exactly what we want. And pause. Slowly come back through. Knees still bent. Pressing up towards the sky. And then gently release. Sway your hips side to side. Notice the difference between each side now that one has worked a little bit. And the other, I'm still waiting just to notice, observe. And come back to neutral. Now left leg steps back behind you. Toes on the earth. Belly button towards your spine. Lift your heel up and back behind you. Pause for a moment here. Feel the engagement, that long straight line through your left foot, out through the crown of your head. Bend your left knee and then find little pulses. Keep your left foot engaged. Like you could just stamp the space above you with your foot. Little pulses. Everything we're doing today has a purpose. It's an opportunity to build strength or to soften, but each pose is building for a reason. So know that. And then come to stillness, shift your left leg out to the side, and then little pulses. Awesome, you're doing great. Feel that little bit of burn. And hold, shift back, pause, and then lower your left knee. Sway side to side, flip your palms over so your palms are face up now, and then make little circles around. If you need to sit your hips back a little bit to take some of the pressure off of your forearms and wrists, but whoo, that feels good. Maybe not good <laughs> for everybody, but sensation. So rather than sensations being good or bad, I definitely don't want to <clears throat> move in through pain today, but just to observe sensation and breathe into it. Awesome. Plant your hands back to neutral. Walk your hands slightly forward. Flip your toes and press back to downward facing dog. Take your time here again. Settle in. Find any movement that works for you. Pedal out your feet, hips away side to side, and then settle into your downward dog. Fingers are out wide, pressing into the palms of your hand, especially your thumb and forefinger. And draw your ears between your upper arms, shoulder blades back and down. And now I invite you to bend your knees more than you usually would here. So we're up on our toes. Now lift your hips, your sit bones up towards the sky. And from there, begin to slowly release your heels towards the earth. If you find that you need to keep a soft bend in your knees, please do. Settle in here. On your inhale, roll forward. We'll move into high plank. Exhale, press back down to facing dog. Warming up through our shoulders now. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, press back down, dog. One more. Inhale, roll forward. And then exhale, press back. And we'll move through our vinyasa. This is how we're going to move through poses today. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Stay strong. So pause here for a moment. Feel your belly pulling up and in. If your hips sink a little bit lower, we don't want to be up here. Or here, find that space right in between. And if that's feeling challenging for you, or just uncomfortable, or not safe, you're welcome to come to your knees, right? All I want to know that you're doing is keeping that long, straight back. From here, slowly lower, draw your elbows in towards your rib cage, lower all the way down. Pause here, flip your feet, press the tops of your feet into the earth. 
And then a little baby cobra here. So maybe lift your hands up off of the earth. Use your spinal muscles to lift you up and forward. And do a couple of those rolling. And slowly lower your forehead to the earth. And place your hands back onto your mat. From your spinal muscles, pull yourself up. Press your thighs and feet into the earth to engage your legs. And then begin to press into your hands a little bit more. Lift up higher. Release back down. One more. First, use the muscles in your spine to lift. Then begin to use your hands to lift you up a little bit higher. And make your way back to downward dog. Forehead comes back to earth. Flip your feet. Press back either through your knees or low to high. Back to downward dog. Inhale, your right leg floats up and back behind you. Bend your right knee. Allow your right foot to drape over to the left. Pause here. Root down through your right hand. Keep the equal amount of pressure in your right and left hand. We tend to want to sink into our left when we open up through our hip. But can you keep them equally balanced? And then straighten right leg back behind you. Inhale. Exhale, draw your right knee through your chest and your right foot lands at your right thumb. Come onto your fingertips here. Inhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Exhale, your hips sink slightly as your heart shines forward. Look forward. Inhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Exhale, heart shines forward. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Plant your hands. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower, slowly. Inhale, flip your feet, press into the top of your feet and thighs, rise up, cobra. Exhale, back to downward dog. Inhale, left leg sweeps up and back behind you. Bend your left knee, left foot drapes over to the right. Keep equal pressure pressing into the earth with both hands. Breathe space into your left hip. Inhale, straighten your right leg, left leg back behind you. Draw your left knee through your chest, and then left foot lands right next to your left thumb. And you notice as we step into these lunges, your foot steps back here. Take it your ankle and step it over. We want our knee in line over our ankle. Come to your fingertips. Inhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Exhale, heart shines forward. Inhale, round, lift the back of your heart up towards the sky. And then exhale, your heart reaches forward. Again, inhale. And exhale. Plant your hands, step back high, plank, exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, roll up, cobra. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Lovely. Full round of breath, inhale. And exhale like you're blowing out a candle. On your inhale, right leg sweeps up and back. Exhale, draw right knee through your chest. Right foot to right thumb. Lower your left knee. Inhale, arms sweep up and forward. As you exhale, your hips sink forward as your elbows draw back and down. Inhale, sweep your arms forward. Exhale, hips sink, heart lift. Inhale, arms sweep forward. And then exhale, cactus arms open through your hips. Inhale, hands to the earth, lift your left knee, step back, high plank, exhale, lower. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, back to downward dog. Round of breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, left leg sweeps up and back. Exhale, left foot, left thumb. Right knee to the earth, inhale, arms sweep up and forward. Exhale, sink into your hips, heart lift, elbows back and down. Inhale, arms sweep forward. Exhale, sink your hips. 
Inhale, sweep your arms up and forward. And then exhale, pull your shoulders back and down. Lift your heart. Inhale, arms come back to the earth. Lift your right knee. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back, downward dog. You guys are doing beautifully, even though I can't see you. I trust it. One more round to warm up. Inhale, right leg sweeps up and back. Exhale, right foot to right thumb. Drop your left heel like you're on railroad tracks here. Your left foot is at a 45 degree angle. Root down through your feet. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, bow forward, humble warrior. Your arms sweep back and up behind you. Inhale, root down through your feet. Strong core, rise up. Exhale, bow forward. Your arms float back and up. Inhale. And exhale, bow, humble warrior. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, step back, high plank. We'll work through our vinyasa. Remember, slow, intentional, present movement. Inhale, cobra. Lift your heart. Exhale, down or dog. Full breath. Exhale out of your mouth. Inhale, left leg floats up and back. Exhale, left foot, left thumb. Release right heel to the earth. Set up for warrior one. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, humble warrior flow. Inhale. And exhale. One more with your breath. Rise up one more time here. Plant your hands on the earth. Inhale, step back, high plank. Slow, control, descent. If you need to come to your knees, please do. Just like this, but keep it slow. Keep it intentional. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Option to pause here if this feels restful for you. Otherwise, bring your knees out wide, big toes to touch, and allow your forehead to rest on the earth. And take this opportunity to pause. This may be the challenging piece for some of us, right? You get so used, used to pushing through, work, work, work. And I know for many people that this big pause that we've been asked to take this year has been challenging. But if you can rest into it, what do you notice? So even here, take the opportunity to really pause. Notice your breath. See if you can sense into your heartbeat. These pauses allow us to build potential, to build potency, so we may be stronger when we're needed, when it's time for action. Lovely. Let's begin to roll forward. And come back to downward dog, pedal out your feet again. Maybe notice any difference from the first downward dog today. Settle in. From here, roll forward, come back to your high plank. I'm going to hang out here for a little bit. We're going to test our strength now. So those two polarities, rest and action. And here's the action, except it's a static action. This really can test our resilience. Again, option to come to your knee. I want that nice, strong line. 
Now, let's shift into our right hand, right foot, come to side plank. I invite you to keep your right leg nice and strong. To modify, make a kickstand with your left foot here. This is a beautiful option. Otherwise, from side plank, left arm sweeps up and out, and left foot lifts as an option. Stay here, I invite you to challenge yourself wherever you are. Yes. Right, when it starts to get shaky, I invite you to stay for another breath. Lovely, and gently release, come back through plank. Stay for a moment, and now shift to the left. Left hand, left foot, again, option, right foot steps out to modify as a kickstand in front. Ooh, a little wobbly there myself. Right hand up, right leg lifts. Feel your strength, feel your fire. All right, we just had a nice little pause, and so now we can move into action. Stay for a couple more breaths. Challenge yourself wherever you are. And then gently shift back, downward dog. Ooh, sorry, back through plank, then to downward dog. <laughs> Settle in. <sighs> Wonderful. Now from here, inhale, right leg sweeps up and back. Exhale, right foot to right thumb. Setting up for crescent lunge, so our feet are in railroad ties here. Inhale, arms sweep up and back. Settle in here. Right knee should be in line over your right ankle. Press your left heel back behind you. Nice, strong core, pulling up and in. Beautiful. Inhale, fingers reach up. Exhale, flying crescent, bring your hands back behind you as your heart and head lean forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fly. Inhale. Exhale, as you sweep your arms back and forward, lean forward, maybe pop your left foot up one step, and then launch into warrior three with airplane arms. Root down through your right foot. Now bring your hands to your heart. Stay here, find your balance, find your strength, find your resilience. Keep your left foot active behind you. And then stay in control slowly, woo. <laughs> slowly lower your left foot back behind you. Inhale, arms sweep back and up, crescent lunge. Exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, arms sweep forward. Exhale, twist. Again, one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Stay in the twist. Can you maybe go a little bit deeper? And then slowly lower your left hand to the earth. Come to a low lunge twist. Pause for a moment, notice sensation. Notice if you're holding any tension in your face or jaw, see if you can soften around that. Now lower your left knee down to the earth, staying in the twist. Option to stay here or bend your right knee, reach your, <laughs> your left knee, right hand reaches back to capture your left foot. Draw your right shoulder blade back and down. And set your gaze up towards the space above you. A little shift in perspective. Notice something different, whether it's in your body, whether it's in the space around you that you didn't notice before. There's a lot to offer when we shift our perspective. And then gently release. Your right hand sweeps to the inside of your right foot and get a little bit deeper into our hip flexors here. Right foot steps out to the edge of your mat. 
and find whatever angle your right foot needs to be at for a good fit for your body. So our hands are in line underneath our shoulders and then find gentle movement, either side to side, back and forth. An option to stay here if you have enough sensation in your hips. Otherwise, I invite you to come down to your elbows, maybe just one side, maybe both. Come to your forearms. Notice again, are you holding tension in your face or jaw? Maybe that space between your eyebrows. Maybe any unnecessary tension in your neck, sway your head side to side. And allow your head to soften, face is soft. Breathe into sensation. Rather attaching to a story, whether this is good or bad. Breathe into sensation. If there's pain, please adjust. If it's sensation, maybe it's uncomfortable, that's okay. Find ways to soften around it. See what your body has to offer you. And gently come back up to your hands. Nice. Walk your right foot back to neutral, in line with your hip. Come to your fingertips. Shift your hips back. Keep a nice long spine as much as you can here. And we're not sinking back down to our feet. And keep your hips in line as much as possible, just a small angle. Bend your right knee. Dig your right heel into the earth and pull your right hip back. A little shift in sensation, yeah. And breathe here. And keep my strong core. Notice the sensation again, hamstrings. And breathe into it. Roll forward, come back to low lunge, hands plant. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower, nice and slow. Inhale, roll up, cobra. Exhale, press back down, or dog. And as we practice, I want you to know we're intentionally moving slow through the transitions. Sometimes you want to jump through them, right? Just get through, get to the next pose. But same with staying in the poses a little bit longer. There's a lot of information there. As we move slowly, that can guide us. Right, to either the stress reduction or to resilience. From here, left leg sweeps up and back. Exhale, left foot to left thumb. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Settle in here, left knee in line over left ankle. Press back through your right heel, strong core, lift through your spine, yeah. Inhale, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, float your arms back. Fly your arms, inhale. And exhale, fly. This time building momentum, inhale, reach up. As you lean forward, just one little step forward to help you launch into warrior three with airplane arms. Root down through your left foot. Keep your right foot active. Bring your hands to your heart. Find your focus. Find a point of focus, maybe on the floor, slightly ahead of you. Then as you find that point of focus, can you see everything around it at the same time? Find stillness and strength within your body. And if there's wobbles, if you fall over safely, <laughs> it's okay. Stay in control here. Slowly lower your right foot back to come to crescent. Inhale, your arms sweep up. Exhale, twist to your left now. Inhale, left arm sweeps up and forward. Exhale, twist, reach through your right fingertips, left fingertips back behind you. Again, inhale. Exhale, twist, pause here. Keep your legs active and engaged, your obliques and core are helping you twist here. From here, slowly release right hand to the earth. 
and stay in the twist. Reach your left hand up. Notice where there's sensation. Soften around your face, a little space between your eyebrows. And then release right knee to the earth. Option to stay here on the twist. Otherwise, bend your right knee, reach back with your left hand, catch your, your right ankle with your left hand. From here, see where my shoulder is, roll your left shoulder back, lift your heart, and look up back behind you. Root down through your right hand and your left foot. And keep your heart shining up and forward. Couple more breaths here. Kick your right foot into your left hand. Find that engagement. And then gently release. Slowly, let's try not to let our right foot flop down. Slow movement. And then left arm sweeps in to come to the inside of our left foot. Walk your left foot out to the edge of your mat. Again, find what's right for your anatomy here. Maybe it needs to walk out a little bit further. Maybe different angles. Find what's just right for you. And then hips sway side to side. Maybe forward. And then option to stay here. Or come down to your forearms. Again, I invite you to notice, are you holding in your face, neck, shoulders, and can you soften around those? Maybe shake your head, side to side, yes and no. And explore, what is your body telling you here? Where can you soften to open and receive? What's the opportunity? Awesome. Again, to come back up to your hands. Walk your left foot in so it's in line neutral with your left hip. Walk your hands back, hips sit back slightly. Left heel into the earth. Draw your left hip back, slight bend in your knee. Notice how that changes sensation. And pause here. Be in presence with your physical experience right now. Lovely. Roll forward, come back to low lunge. Hands to the earth, lift your right knee up. Inhale, step back, high plank or on your knees. Slowly, remember, lower. Elbows in, strong core. Press into your thighs and feet. Roll up, cobra. Notice the difference in your back bends now. Maybe there's more space. And press back child's pose. We'll take another pause. Allow your belly to soften into your thighs. Breathe here for a moment. And we'll roll forward, moving back into action from rest. Back to downward dog. You guys are doing great. Settle back into your downward dog. Again, notice what's different about downward dog now from when we began. Inhale, right leg sweeps up and back behind you. This time, draw your right knee through your chest and your right foot is going to land right between your hands. Lower left heel to the earth, so it's facing out to the left. Check for heel to arch alignment. Inhale, rise up to warrior two. Make any adjustments for your anatomy here. So again, right knee is in line over your right ankle, rooting down through your left foot, and warrior two. Rather than looking out over our right hand, let's keep a neutral gaze here. Root down through your feet. 
Now imagine that you could pull your mat apart with your feet. They're pulling away from each other. And then, oh, it's going to tear my yoga mat in half. Pull it back in. And then find that space in between pushing and pulling. Co-contraction, strong foundation. Bring your hands to your heart. Pause. Notice your feet making contact with the earth. The strength of your legs, your solid foundation holding you. And then where can you soften? Maybe shake out your shoulders. Look side to side. Roll out your neck. Maybe a little space between your teeth here. And then inhale, like your hands are ex ex extensions of your heart and lungs. Reach out from here and now. Inhale, exhale, right elbow into right thigh. Reach your left hand back behind you. Draw your left shoulder blade back and down. From here, keep your <clears throat> arm engaged, your shoulder blade still back and down as your arm across the horizon. Rise back up, warrior two. Reverse warrior, left hand to left side, right arm floats up and over. And we'll find the flow with our breath here, going with the flow of what is, right? Inhale, exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, back through warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale. Exhale, extended. Inhale. One more time to reverse. And pause. Pull your right shoulder blade back and down. Lift your heart. Maybe look up under your arm towards the space above you. Another chance to shift perspective. What's there that you didn't notice before? Inhale. Come back through warrior two. Turn your feet in. Take a couple little shifts here. Again, for your anatomy, take as much space as you need to sink in to temple pose, or you might call it goddess or horse pose. Again, knees are in line under over your ankles. Bring your hands to your heart. Feel sensation, feel your strength. Make sure your hips are engaged behind you, belly button pulls up and in. Then inhale your arms down and up. And exhale through heart center. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, rise up. And exhale. Pause here. Feel your inner strength. Inhale, reach up and out. Oh, yeah. Feel free to shake out your legs and hips. Five pointed star. And then release back to warrior two. Cartwheel your hands back and down. Step your right foot back. Lower, make your way through your vinyasa. And press back, downward facing dog. I'm gonna shift here from downward dog. Take a couple nice full breaths. Inhale, your left leg sweeps up and back behind you. Exhale, left foot steps between your hands, right foot releases, setting up for warrior two. Heel to arch alignment. And rise up, warrior two. Again, hands to heart. Pause, feel your feet rooting down. Feel your legs in opposing directions. First, pull them apart. Keep them where they are, that energetic action, engaging the muscles and then pull them back together, and then find that sweet space right in between where they're active and rooting down. Hands to heart, pause, soften your face. And again, like your hands are extensions of your heart and lungs from your space, let them extend out. I'm just reaching towards each other, a way to connect from afar. Inhale here, exhale, left elbow to the inside of your left thigh, right hand is still reaching back, pull your right shoulder up and open, lift your heart, press left elbow into left thigh and our left thigh presses back, that co-contraction, active engagement, 
cut across the horizon. Keep your right shoulder blade back and down. Reach through your right fingertips. Nice long line out through your right fingertips and the outer edge of your right foot. Inhale, rise back up through warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Allow your left arm to sweep. Inhale, back through center. And we'll find our float. Exhale, extended side angle. Back through warrior two. Go on with the flow. Reverse. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, stay in reverse. Pause here, pull your left shoulder blade back and down. Stay in the bend in your left knee. Allow your heart to shift up and forward. Look under your arm. Notice maybe something different. And come back through warrior two. And we'll bring our feet together again, as much as works for your anatomy and settle in to goddess pose. This time, bring your hands to your thighs, shrug your shoulders up, allow your hips to sink. Press your hands into your thighs. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, lift your heart. Exhale, twist to your right, left shoulder dips in. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to your left. Find your breath, do it a couple more times, inhale. And exhale, twist. Inhale. And exhale. One more to each side. Inhale, come back through center. Release your hands, reach up. Shake it, any tension out. And then release back to warrior two at the top of your mat. Inhale, one more deep breath here. And exhale, cartwheel your hands. Make your way back through your vinyasa. And back to downward dog. Deep breath. And exhale out of your mouth like you're blowing out a candle. Slowly lower your knees to the earth. I'm going to shift my position here so you can see. And come down to your knees. Pause for a moment. Notice any shifts or changes since the beginning of class. Now rise up. Use your core to lift you up and forward. Now as your arms sweep out, your right foot steps out to gate pose, parigasana. Inhale here and then exhale, right hand to your right shin and left arm sweeps up and over. Breathe space into your left side body. If you notice your hip is turning in, peel it up and open. The shoulders up and open. Inhale, come back through center. A little bit of a flow like we just did. So this time, our left hand comes to the earth. Reach your right hand back behind you. And then lift your right foot. Option to stay here. Keep your foot engaged. If you feel like this is right where you need to be, stay here. Otherwise, bend your right knee. Capture your right ankle with your right hand. Kick. Final back bend. Janu Chapasana. Your heart and hips are forward, reaching out for each other. Kick your right foot into your right hand. Stay with it. Can you keep your belly engaged to protect your low back? Lovely. Slowly release. Right foot out. Reach your right hand up and out. And then use your obliques to lift you back through center. Lovely. Release your hands to the earth. All fours. Right foot steps in. Rise back up. Use your core to lift you up. Arms out. Left foot steps out to the side now. Root down through the outer edge of your left foot. And then left hand to left foot. Chin. Right arm sweeps over. Pull your hips and shoulders open. Breathe space into your right rib cage. And then come back through center. 
and then right hand to the earth. Left hand reaches back and lift your left foot. Keep your left foot engaged. An option to stay here or left knee bends. Capture your left ankle with your left hand. Shoulder pulls back. Lift your heart forward. Hips open. Heart open. Beautiful back bend. Like our hearts could connect through this digital space. I see you. Kick your left ankle into your left hand. Another breath. What's the opportunity here? What do you notice in your body? What wants to arise? See it. Breathe into it. And then gently rela release. Left arm reaches up, left leg out. And then stay in control. Use your core to draw you back up. Beautiful. Hands to the ears. Left knee comes in. Knees come together. Draw your forehead towards your knees. Wrap your hands around your sides. Maybe capture your heels with your hands. Allow your head to hang heavy towards the ears. Option to also just allow your arms to melt towards the earth, curling in. Allowing ourselves to return to the safe space within ourselves. After reaching out and forward. And feel your breath as it rises and falls on your thighs. Feel your belly and chest making contact with your legs. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and slowly rise up. Sweep your leg. Shift your hips to your side. Sweep your legs out in front of you. Shift here. Move any flesh out from underneath your sit bones. Your legs are hip width distance apart. Inhale, arms out and up. Soft bend in your knees. As you reach forward, keeping a long spine, maybe capturing just below your knees, your shins, ankles, or feet. And then allow your head to hang forward. And soften your upper body. And then slowly roll up your spine. Bend your knees. Walk. Make sure your feet are planted on the earth. Curl and give your legs a hug. And then lengthen through your spine. Core is engaged here. Hands out to the side. Slowly roll down your spine to come to the earth. And fully release. Release your left foot, your left leg down onto the ground. Right knee draws in. Give it a nice big squeeze. And as you exhale, shift your hips slightly to the right as your right leg drapes over to the left. Reach out through your right fingertips and gaze over to your right. Allow gravity to take hold here. With each exhale, softening into the earth. Let go. Let me come back to your center. Give your right leg another nice squeeze. And then release right leg to the ground. Left knee draws in. Pull it in. Give it a nice hug. As you exhale, shift your hips slightly to the left. And left leg drapes over to the right as you reach your left hand out. An option to gaze over to your left side. Eyes soft or closed. You can either rest your right hand on the earth or on the outer side of your left thigh.
Allow gravity to take hold. And gently come back through center. Pull your left leg into your chest. And then release your foot to the earth. Bend your right knee again. Feet are planted on the ground. Right foot sweeps up towards the sky. And then right ankle over left thigh. Option to hang out here. Press your right thigh away with your right hand or capture the back side of your left thigh. And pull your legs into your chest wherever you are. Slightly tuck your chin towards your chest and press the back of your head into the earth. Allow your shoulders to soften back and down. Allow this to be nurturing. Breathe in the sensation in your hips. And release left foot down, switch sides, right foot down, left foot reaches up, and left ankle over right thigh. Again, option here, press your left hand into your left thigh. Both sides may be slightly different, and that's okay. Wherever you are, whatever has enough sensation. Otherwise, capture the back of your right thigh, pull it in. Again, where can you soften around your shoulders and face? Nice long neck. Notice your sacrum, that big triangle at the base of your spine, rooting down into the earth. And then gently release. And pull both of your knees in towards your chest. Knee, head, forehead to your knees, up and up in a seat pose. What opportunities have you found here today? Draw it in, giving yourself appreciation for showing up wherever your journey has brought you so far. Pull it in tight. And then release everything down into the earth. Legs out wide, arms out wide, take up space. Take a deep breath in, fill your belly, fill your lungs. As you exhale, notice where your body makes contact with the earth. One more full breath in. And this time as you exhale, allow every point of contact to soften, fully supported by the ground below you, into Shavasana. And to bring gentle awareness back to your breath and body. And allow any organic movements to begin to allow you to reawaken. Maybe small movements in your fingers and toes, moving up through your limbs. An option for a full body stretch. And as you're ready, roll to your right side. Use your right arm as a pillow. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Left hand rests on the earth. Take one more moment to pause here for yourself.
Roll up, come to a seat. See exactly where we began. Easy seat. Bring your hands to heart center. And take a moment to notice any shift in your body, in your breath, in your mind, in your energetic awareness. To notice where you are now compared to where we began in the same place. Notice your sit bones rooting you down into the earth. Crown of your head lifting to connect to the space above you. And your hands and heart right in the middle. It's a gesture of our connection, even from a distance. May this practice be of benefit to ourselves and to those we serve. May it be of benefit. Namaste. Thank you all again for joining me today. And thank you to New Hope Network for allowing us to connect through this yoga session. Please make sure to follow and subscribe to New Hope Network channel on YouTube so that you may be notified when new content like this is posted. Also, I invite you to comment below and share any opportunities you've found through the shift that has happened throughout this year or any opportunities you found to shift within yourself during this practice. Thank you again. Again, I'm Taylor Lee. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.